Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're doing a what's in my bag video. This is the 2023 edition of it. All right, first things first is the bag. As you can see, this is the first generation of the Peak Design Everyday Carry. This is the 20 liter version. I really like this bag because it's customizable. It has good straps. Everything's riveted. There's no sewn on things. The straps have rivets so that they can adjust your shoulders. All right. Well, let's get into it. All right. So first up in this top compartment, there's this awesome magnetic latch that Peak Design gives us. It's an expandable canvas top that has multiple latches so you can fit as much or as little as you need. It just depends on where you hook it. All right. First up, we have these, the Sony WH-1000 XM4s. You can see I did a review in the previous video on these. These are only when I travel. These aren't always with me. All right, the next thing in the bag is gonna be the Ambernic RG351P. I started carrying this instead of a Nintendo Switch. It's a really awesome games emulator. You can emulate from the NES all the way to the Nintendo 64. It can even do some PSP games. It's really awesome. It charges via USB-C, has two joysticks, D-pad, A button, B button, X and Y, everything a grown person needs, all in a really small package at a reasonable price. Something you don't really see nowadays. Look out for an upcoming video reviewing this. All right, up next, we have one of my personal favorites. This is the 2019 Kindle Paperwhite. This is the first Kindle to offer a backlight. And also, it comes in a convenient form factor with a touchscreen. It's very good. I think this is the six gigabyte model. Not 100% sure. I'll throw up a little graphic or something fancy for y'all telling you what it is afterwards. Unfortunately, one of the major drawbacks of this is it charges by a micro USB. So this is the one thing I can't charge with USB-C. All right, and that looks like it's all for the top compartment. Let's move on to the next feature. This bag has two side carrying handles, so you can use it as a briefcase. Each side has its own zipper, and it also fits right up with relative ease. So on this side, we have another zip on the flap. And in this flap, I carry a pen, I believe this is a Uniball Vision Elite BLX. So it's black ink that has color added to it. So it's more of a deep, dark blue. One of my favorite pens. Then I have a SD card holder. This specific one is by JJC. I don't know. It's worked for me so far. I have no complaints. It's just a cheap SD card holder. All right, the next thing in here is going to be the Orbit Key Nest. This is going to be a travel only item, something I only take with me if I'm going somewhere for a day or two. Why don't you come over and we can take a closer look at this together. All right, so this is the Orbit Key Nest. It's a handy little device for carrying around stuff on the go. All right, inside I have a small note moleskin notebook for jotting down notes quickly. To go with that, I have a Pilot Precise V7. One of my favorite pens. A small USB-C to USB-C cable. A SanDisk 500 gigabyte SSD. A Samsung 500 gigabyte SSD. Another SD card reader. And a USB to USB-C cable. It also has movable dividers in there, along with plenty of pockets and a little mesh storage unit. Now, you might be wondering what that low USB-C cable is for. If you can see, there is a indent here. So when it's on your desk, you can use it to hold your keys and your wallet. But there's a USB-C port right there. And that's for using the wireless charging pad. So you can just put your phone there and it'll charge it up. All right, the last thing that we have on this side is gonna be the original Canon EOS M. This is a great little camera. It's almost the size of a point and shoot, but it does have those interchangeable lenses so you can get the right lens for the right job. It's a great little camera. I, this is definitely an improvement over a cell phone camera. 
is small enough to just fit in my bag right in a little compartment right there. I really recommend this camera. It does great video too for what it costs. I think right now on eBay you can pick these up used for about $200, so really not too bad. Alright, now join me as we go over to the other side. Again, you'll find that convenient zip and another zip on the flap. I don't have anything on this side. So instead, inside the bag, you'll find that I have all my power equipment on one of these compartments. I have a 20,000 milliamp hour battery. This one's from Belkin. Has a USB-C input and a USB input. And handy little LEDs to let you know how charged it is. I also carry a three foot, roughly, USB-C to USB-C cable. This one is from Razer came with the Razer phone too. If you like, I can do a review on that cell phone in a future video. It's a very interesting, unique cell phone, especially for the time that it came out. Also in here, we have a 65 watt USB-C wall charger. I always carry this with me just in case I need to fill up my phone or whatever else has me on some kind of trips anywhere. It's convenient to have a good fast charger with you. All right, so that's all for the main compartment of the bag. There's another spot though. And that would be the top of the bag. All right, so in here I have the 2020 MacBook Air with the M1 chip. I definitely recommend this laptop for traveling. Usually I don't even have to bring a charger with me because the battery life is so long on this. It's definitely a great addition to the bag. I can do photo editing, I can do video editing. It's a really solid laptop. I've been thinking about remaking a review video on it just because it's so good. Also in here, we have an iPad 7. This one I believe came out in 2017. I'm running iPad OS on it right now. It's just really solid for web browsing or research. I can also do some light video or photo editing on it if I need to. Also up here, I have a USB and USB-C adapter for card reader. So it can do micro SD and SD cards. I also have the Apple Pencil because an iPad without an Apple Pencil is just another tablet. And a microfiber cloth because you never know when you're gonna have a smudge on your screen. I don't remember where I got that one, but it's a nice color and shade of orange. Quite nice. But, one more thing. In the main top compartment, Peak Design has a secret pocket. It uses a magnetic clasp to open. And in there, I carry some Apple earbuds. And a handy spare stick of chapstick. Because you never know when you're gonna get chap lips. All right, so that's all for the bag. Now what do I carry on a personal day? Well, I have my Casio watch because you can't go somewhere without knowing the time. I carry my S20 Plus and a mouse walnut case. It's a great case. Great phone too. I'll also be doing a review on that one later. I carry my fifth generation iPod with me. It's a great little device for listening to music. You can't get notifications on it. So if you hate when you're listening to music and you get like a text from someone and it interrupts your music, this would be a great addition for you. I also carry my everyday carry chapstick, my Samsung Galaxy Buds, and my wallet. All right, everyone. I think that about does it for this video. If you have any questions about anything here, leave a comment. If you want to know more, leave a comment. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. All right. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. There'll be more reviews like this coming in the future. Peace.